Hi everyone! I was just coming to share a um, real quick junk journal that I completed for a um, friend of mine. Her daughter just had her 14th birthday and she wanted me to make um, just make her a quick junk journal and that worked out really good for me because I've been wanting to do more of a um, just kind of take it back to when I used to do the old you know, the old style junk journals, just kind of a hodgepodge of paper collections and no coffee staining, just, you know, something really fun, summery and, and simple. So um, I even pulled out my bind it all to bind it. So anyhow, um, I did, I wasn't originally going to put a cover on this just because I liked um, just all the, the way the layers looked, but um I didn't want her uh, to have problems with these pages getting all mangled and torn out. So what I did was just go ahead and um, I went ahead and just put an acetate cover on there. So, um, so to, you know, give it a little bit of protection. But you can still see, sorry for all the glare, that's why I had it open. But you can still see all the layers underneath it. So um, that's what I what I went ahead and did there. Um, I used some really cute uh, hot pink o wires to bind it. And I did put a back cover on it. It's, um, I just made this out of, uh, I used some corrugated cardboard for this and just covered it in some white card stock and then just topped it off with some pattern paper. And then I've just got my information there on the back. So I'll just do a quick flip through. Um, I used a couple of paper collections for this. One of them was the Sugar Chic by Heidi Swap. And then um, the other one was a, I think it's a Maggie Holmes collection, but um, by Crate Paper. I'm pretty sure. If not, I'll put it in the description box below what exactly what it was. But anyhow, so I'll just um, flip through it. It'll be really fast. If you guys have any questions, um, you can just uh, put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I didn't do any stamping or anything in here. It's just really simple and, and just a ton of fun. I love all the colors. So anyhow, uh, let's just go ahead and just flip through it here really quick. We got a tag right here behind this um, graph paper. And I just topped it off with a button and a little bit of ribbon. And there's a couple of little gemstones there. On the front, I used my new Tim Holtz dies the um, scribbles and splats that I was looking for forever finally found them. <laughs> Just put a heart and a little banner here. These were um, cards from the $1.50 spot at Michael's and I just um, I just trimmed the edges off and it just gave me two separate pieces. So down here where this banner is um, was the uh, you know, the manufacturer of the cards, and I just wanted to cover that. But I really like the, um, you know, the candies and stuff that were on there. So here we've got just a little pocket page with a couple of tags. And again, those are, well, they're not, this one I just drew some journaling lines, but that one's blank. I love this Heidi Swap collection. I think it's so fun. Just a little tag there. Top that off with a bow. And here we just got a little, um, one of those little celebrated sacks. And I just put a tag in there. And then behind it, um, just got a couple more journaling spots. And that's one of the little dies, um, die cuts from the uh, um, Scribbles and Splats die from Tim Holtz. And then I've just got a Prima Flower button. And this little banner was one of the cutouts from the um, Heidi Swap Paper Collection. And it just says a door on there. I don't know if you can make that out or not. It's the definition of a door. It says verb, to regard with the utmost esteem, love, and respect, honor, to pay divine honor to.
Here's a larger tag that again I just topped off with a ribbon. There's the other half of that card. This is the front of the card over here. Um, where is it? This was the back. Aren't those super cute? I'll tell you what, whenever I see something that I really like in the $1.50 bins at Michael's, I load up on them because sometimes they just, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. They don't bring them back. So um, if I see something that I think I can use again and again, I will just buy a ton of them. And this year they had these cards and they had tons of different um, styles. They had some with ice cream sandwiches, snow cones, ice cream cones, just all kinds of different um, graphics on them. So I just, I loaded up on those. And they're, they're a ton of fun to use. <clears throat> Here's one of those candy sacks. And these are the paper collections that go, the notepad collections that um, went along with these cards. So I just put a few strips of paper in there for some more journaling. And then these candy sacks, I'm going to um, have a bunch of these listed on my uh in my etsy shop so if you guys are interested in in picking up some of those you can find them over there i will hopefully have those listed here in the um next few days i have a ton of new stuff um waiting to be listed i just i've been so super busy that i've haven't had a lot of time um to get around to it but i've got just a ton of stuff coming so um if you guys are interested in what's going to be there, go and take a look. So here we've got the film strip. And I just topped this page off with a little flower and a piece of sequence. Here's another one of those cards. Sorry. Aren't those cute? And they even have some glitter accents on them. I don't know if those are showing. Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Um, had to pause that for a second. Here's just the envelope to the card. And I've just got some, just a few journaling spots in here. I forgot how fun these type journals were to make. I hadn't done one of these in such a long time. The last one I did was the... Um, the Valentine themed one that you guys have seen, I think, on my YouTube channel. And I, I did that, I, I think, at the beginning of the year. But um, it was that was a lot of fun, too. So I don't know why I don't make more of these. They're just super easy and just a lot of fun. And that's just a cut apart from the paper collection, the Heidi Swap paper collection. And it just says special. And also, um, the other paper collection is is actually um, Dear Lizzie's Serendipity. It's this one right here, which has got some really pretty papers in it. So here's another um, one of those cards, the back of it. And again, I just covered the manufacturer's details with the banner and then put a little heart on the end. And then here's another one of those candy bags. See, aren't those so fun? And then some of the paper that goes along with these note cards. And then on the back, I just put a little banner. And there's another cut apart there from the collection that says beautiful. I just topped it off with a prima flower and a button. Here we just got a tag with some ribbon on it. It's just blank on the back. <clears throat> this is just a, some added paper for journaling. That's another cut apart from the paper collection, and that just says best friends right there. I thought she could put a little picture of her and her best friend there. That'd be kind of fun. And here's just a... Um, a journaling tag from I got that out of a um, it was one of those journaling pads hang on just a second sorry it's from this um, basic gray 
journaling cards. That's where I got that from. And that's just a Prima flower with a button and some ribbon right behind it. And here I just got a couple of um, little mini pages. And I used my Tim Holtz tab, tab die to put those file folders tabs on there. Here's a little pocket with just some more journaling cards. And I just corner rounded those with my crocodile or corner rounder. See how pretty that is? I love all those colors. Here's another journaling card from the basic gray pad. And it says it's that time, day, time, place, and activity. Here's a library pocket with a library card in it. These I'm going to have listed in my Etsy shop as well, so you can find those there. And that says, see the good in everything. Aren't these fun, though? And this is a really nice um, weight cardstock. So, and then um, it, they'll come with the pockets as well. And then this is the last page here. Just got another tag and a couple more journaling spots. And that's it. Just top that off with a little, um, use my uh, circle punch and uh, cut that circle in half. Topped it off with a Prima Flower button and this little banner that says smile. So that's, that's my super duper fun journal. <laughs> Anyhow, I thought it was... It's really cute. I just, I love all the texture and the different sizes of pages and everything hanging off the edges and stuff. So I thought that was really cool. Anyhow, just wanted to come and share that with you guys. I hope everybody is enjoying their, um, their week so far. And um, you guys have a great day and we will be talking to you soon. Okay, have a good one. Bye.